Hello, everyone. I'm Lily, and today I will be presenting the Q-Link VFD by Franklin Control Systems. Agenda. So today I will be talking about some background information, the product description, its features and benefits, the different models, and its value. What is a VFD? VFD stands for Variable Frequency Drive, and it is an electrical device used to control the rotational speed of an AC motor by adjusting the frequency of the electrical power supplied to the motor. It converts the voltage twice by first converting the three-phase AC voltage to DC through a bridge rectifier consisting of six diodes. Then, the DC voltage passes through the filter, which uses a capacitor to smooth out the signal. Finally, the inverter is used to convert the DC voltage back to AC with transistors acting as switches. However, the inverter output is not a true AC sine wave, but rather an approximation since the switches convert the DC voltage into fast voltage pulses of constant magnitude and varying width through a process called pulse width modulation. Why do we use VFDs? In the United States, HVAC and refrigeration applications consume 93% of the motor-driven energy use in the commercial sector. Thus, it is important to directly reduce unnecessary energy consumption, and VFDs have been proven to be one of the most effective ways in doing so. They have become increasingly popular and are widely used in the HVAC field with fans, pumps, conveyors, and compressors. By having the ability to modulate the speed of one or more motors based on the system load requirements and operation schedule, VFDs can lead to a dramatic reduction in motor power and energy consumption, therefore improving building energy efficiency. Another benefit to using a VFD is that the drive can be programmed to ramp up the motor to operating speed more gradually, which minimizes mechanical stress, reduces maintenance costs, and extends the life of the motor. Franklin Control Systems Motivation. After watching a webinar and contacting Brian Blackburn, the Director of Sales at Franklin Control Systems, and Chad Haugen, a field service engineer, I was able to obtain a greater understanding of the motivation behind creating the Q-Link VFD. While many VFDs already exist, Franklin Control Systems was determined to create a more advanced VFD that resolved any problems customers were having with their current VFD. Franklin Control Systems conducted 65 observational interviews across the domestic and international HVAC and pump industry to gain knowledge of current user experience and complaints with VFDs. Common customer complaints were that the startup process was difficult, the keyboards were hard to navigate, there were several tech support and troubleshooting issues, other smart bypasses were too complicated, and that VFDs were ordered with incorrect voltages. Franklin Control Systems listened and responded to the customer feedback by developing the Q-Link VFD in 2017. Their goal with the Q-Link was to target these complaints and provide an accurate VFD with simple navigation and a mobile app. What is the Q-Link? The Q-Link is a new and revolutionary variable frequency drive that is user-friendly and technologically superior. It has R-cubed filtering for harmonic mitigation and provides an array of inputs and outputs, including a built-in damper control. This product has NEMA UL Type 1 frame, IP20 protection, and is very compact in size. Finally, the feature that sets the Q-Link VFD apart from others is that you can control and support the VFD via a smartphone using the mobile app. This drawing shows the dimensions of this device for sizing reference. The Q-Link VFD has the smallest footprint on the market. Let's now dive a little deeper into R-cubed filtering. Traditionally, with other VFDs, there's a DC link reactor or AC line reactor to mitigate harmonics. We want to mitigate harmonics because they are wasted energy, cause excess heat, and can cause equipment to malfunction. When the DC link reactor or AC line reactor is used, there's 35% harmonic distortion. 
The Q-Link has built-in technology called R-cubed filtering, which is a sophisticated filtering algorithm that mitigates the harmonics the same way as the DC link or AC line reactor, except it gives less than 35% total harmonic distortion without an external reactor. RQ filtering can be thought of as having a 3 to 5% line reactor built right into the drive. The control interface on the Q-Link VFD is strategically designed to be easy to use and intuitive. This is a labeled diagram of the control interface on the Q-Link. As you can see, there are minimal buttons, which allows for simple navigation. Features and benefits. Key features on the Q-Link VFD are the hand off automatic keypad, the organic light emitting diode display with simple navigation, the internal fuse protection, the easily replaceable fan, optimized cooling, real-time clock with battery, digital analog and relay inputs and outputs, native Modbus and BACnet communications, and finger-safe power terminals underneath the hood. Also, there is not currently a BTL listing for this product. This is the digital and analog control circuit terminal layout for the control board. It has a damper, so when the VFD receives a run signal, it can send power out, and once the damper is open, the VFD will tell the motor to run. There are also dry and wet inputs, along with configurable relay outputs, BACnet and Modbus communications, and analog inputs and outputs. Q-Link's mobile app is iOS and Android compatible with monitoring via Bluetooth connectivity. It offers a simple and intuitive user experience that expedites the setup and support process. It has the ability to save and store device settings along with creating connection configuration templates. The app has over-the-air firmware updates and a guided startup, which simplifies the difficult startup process of other VFDs. The troubleshooting solutions through the app are also fantastic, as there is sequential app support and live support if needed. By providing remote monitoring and control through the app, it enhances safety by minimizing the need to interact with the drive. Lastly, the app produces automated startup and troubleshooting VFD reports. For the past few days, I have been setting up the Keeling VFD demo and, I, and connecting it to the app I downloaded on my phone. I found it very straightforward and quick to connect the VFD to my phone using the QR code. The screenshot in the middle shows the menu of functions on the app. On the right, I followed through with the basic guided setup and I liked how all the settings on the app were duplicates of the settings on the control interface, except it was presented in a more familiar style for me. Q-Link's mobile app allows users to build, save, and store device settings as startup templates for future use. By creating these configuration templates, multiple drives can easily be configured for startup operations after connecting to the drive. This screenshot and video shows the basic landing page of the app. It provides information of everything going on in the VFD from a bird's eye view. As you can see, the control mode can be switched between the VFD control interface and the mobile app. I chose to control the VFD from my phone and I increased the frequency from 15 Hertz to 60 Hertz. The app and VFD communicated accurately and quickly and I was really impressed with this dashboard page. These are three more screenshots from the app highlighting the extensive information that it provides. Underneath the documentation tab, there are all the files also linked on the Franklin Control Systems website for this product. The logs show up-to-date information of any fault or parameter changes to the Q-Link. After clicking one of the faults, it tells you exactly what the fault is, when the fault occurred, what the condition of the fault of the VFD was when the fault occurred, why it occurred, and steps to clear the fault out. Lastly, the tech support options are efficient and effective. Prior to talking to a tech support person, you can send them all the data on your VFD so they know exactly what is going on and how to help. The reporting functions on the app is extremely powerful. These are screenshots of a few pages of the 11-page startup report I generated on the app. 
It took less than two minutes to compile a complete commissioning report, which traditionally takes hours for other VFD brands. Along with the standalone VFD that I've been talking about, also called the Q-Link Base Drive, there are three other models of the Q-Link. The Q-Link Smart Bypass, the Q-Link Drive with, with Disconnect, and the Q-Link Horsepower Rated Drive. The Q-Link Smart Bypass is the Q-Link VFD with integrated Smart Bypass. This model has advanced Smart Start protection and native BACnet and or Modbus communications. It also has a single user interface for the VFD and bypass, as well as pass-through I.O., which eliminates redundancy during setup and creates constant communication between the VFD and the bypass. The Q-Link Smart Bypass is also very compact and lightweight. In fact, it is the smallest VFD and bypass on the market. For comparison, this is a Q-Link 20 horsepower with bypass next to an ABB 20 horsepower VFD with bypass. Um, and ABB is one of the leading VFD manufacturers. As you can see, the Q-Link Smart Bypass is much smaller in height and depth, which saves space in the mechanical room. The Q-Link Drive with Disconnect is the same standalone Q-Link VFD with an integrated disconnect in front of the drive to disconnect power to the motor. This option has added safety with lockout, tagout, and also saves time and money in installation. The number one reason for VFD returns was that the voltage type was ordered incorrectly. Franklin Control Systems responded to this by developing the Q-Link horsepower rated drive, which has dual voltage rating, ensuring that it'll always read the correct voltage. This model is good when the customer does not know the voltage needed since it serves motors from 208 to 480 volts, and the only inf information you need is the horsepower of the motor. For example, the same VFD will work at 5 horsepower, 480 volts, and 5 horsepower, 208 volts. Thus, it eliminates the possibility of incorrect voltage. These are two screenshots of the submittal PDF for the Q-Link VFD, which can be found on Franklin Control Systems website. It is user-friendly with drop-down menus, and I've created a sample submittal showing several combinations of options available for the Q-Link. The pricing for the Q-Link VFD can be found on an Excel sheet in ACI's data files. It is fairly straightforward since you just need to select the drive you want and the horsepower at the specific voltage to get a price. The prices vary depending on the model, features, and horsepower. The key takeaways from this presentation are that the Q-Link VFD was designed based on customer feedback it has Bluetooth compatibility for VFD control through your smartphone. It is the safest drive on the market. It also has the smallest footprint on the market and has reliable and convenient smart bypass and horsepower rated options. Thank you for listening.